Hey guys, Bluefin100 back again with another collection video, and this is the fifth Beyblade collection update for the originals. I'm going to show you the Beyblades from Season 1, V-Force, G-Revolution, the movie Fierce Battle, and of course, Rising, as well as the manga. So, I got a lot of new blades the past five years since the last collection update for the original. So, in 2016, I got three new Beyblades from the original. Then, in 2017, I only got two. 2018, I got seven. Last year, I got 47, and this year, I got about 127 new Beyblades from the original. Yeah, so my collection has been growing ever since the last one I did. And of course, like the last Beyblade collection video I did earlier this year, I transferred my original Beyblades in another new case again, and yeah, overall this case is probably the best one I've gotten so far, and I think this is probably better than the one that I had prior to this, because whereas with that one I can only fit probably like 3 or 4 Beyblades per slot, with this one I can fit up to at least 5 to 7 uh, Beyblades for uh, each slot. So, I think this will be the last case that I'm going to be putting my original Beyblades in because it pretty much holds all the Beyblades I own. And it's not just the plastic Beyblades that got new cases. I also got one for the Mouse Saga and soon for Burst because I really need to get a new case for that. So as always, the first ones I'm going to be showing you guys are the Blade Breakers or the G-Revolution Blades. And like the previous one, it's all in chronological order and by their appearance or evolution. Also, I pretty much finished rebuying most of the Beyblades I needed since 2012. Anyways, let's start off with the S's first and I finally completed them. So as always, the first First one I'm gonna be showing off is Dragoon S Storm. This is the Hasbro BBA Championship Edition because of the reinforced attack ring, I guess. Because if you were to compare it with the original version, which is this one, this is the Dakar version, by the way, you can see that it's slightly different uh, than this one. Of course, with the BBA Championship Edition version, it's using a regular bit chip. Same thing with uh, Drigger S and uh, some other Beyblades that were from uh, Season one and I think V-Force as well. Not much difference, like I said, but yeah, I'm glad that I finally got both the Hasbro and Takar versions, and I'm glad that I rebought the uh, Hasbro version of Dragoon S. Now, I still have my TT Hongli version and my original Hasbro version of Dragoon S, but I put that in storage, along with the other uh, TT Hongli Beyblades and some of the others. And oh yeah, I forgot to show you, here's the Blade Base for the Takar Dragoon S. Same thing. And I also have the manga version of Dragoon S. Finally uh, rebought this and yeah finally got one with the actual bit beast and again just to do a little comparison with the uh, anime version as i mentioned in what was that my third collection update for the original that i do like the manga version and it's not too bad but in all honesty i just prefer the anime version because it looks a lot better and cooler and also this one doesn't have puke green stickers but i do like the image for the uh, bit beast which is pretty cool so that's it for dragoon S or just Dragoon. Next is of course Drawn's S Spiral. Also the Hasbro version. Finally uh, rebought the Hasbro version. This is also the BBA Championship Edition version because again if you were to compare it with the uh, original version which is uh, the Dakar version that I have here. The little gap here is like split down the middle in the original version whereas the BBA Championship Edition it's like almost split in half. So I guess they fixed that problem where whenever you use Drawn's S in battle or like if you keep using in battle the wings would just like break like for instance either this or this so i guess hasbro fix that problem with uh, that release. Also, uh, for the Takar version, well, mine, I guess, it's using the limited edition uh, Bippy sticker, which is actually pretty cool. But unfortunately, since it's like this, it didn't come with the limited edition bit chip, which would have been cool to have. And of course, I do have the uh, Phantom Force version of Dronzer S, which I still need to rebuy. But yeah, that is it for Dronzer, of course. Now, moving on to Drasil, Drasil S, Shield, uh, Hasbro version. Uh, Except for the bit piece, because this is actually from my TT Hongli version. I also have the uh, Takara version which is pretty cool. And unlike with my TT Hongli version, both of them actually came with the male balls, so yeah. So there are those. Here is uh, Drigger S slash the Takara version. Now if you guys didn't see my uh, ninth Beyblade lot where I got the Beyblades from Japan, most of the Beyblades from that lot, either the Blade Base or the stickers or the attack ring or just the Beyblade itself, most of them were Sunbleach for some reason. So the person who had this before me, I guess kept them in the sun too long but i am glad that i finally got the takar version of jigger s and speaking of i still have my tt Hongli version out and i only have like what 
two or three TT Hongi Beyblades still out in this case. And last but not least, and my newest addition, Gaia Stratodragoon S Spike. Yeah, I finally got Daichi's first Beyblade. And now I can do battles though with this guy. All right, so that's it for the S's. So now moving on to the F's. So I'm just gonna take these out for a sec. Here is a uh, Dragoon F, Fighter of Phantom. And I also have the uh, Mel Masters V-Force version, finally. And it looks really, really nice. I'm glad that I finally got another version of Dragoon F. Here is Dronzer F, Flame, the Hasbro version. And I did fix the problem with the tip being loose, but sometimes it's still kind of loose. But I did fix the loose tip problem. I also have another Dronzer F, but this one will only be for display. So next up is Drasil F. Fortress and I still have uh, my Hasbro version well one of them I put the other one in storage and last but not least for the F's Drigger F Fang and I also have the uh, Takara version of Drigger F but it's using a different Bippy sticker which is pretty cool here is Black Dronzer and I also have another Black Dronzer. Yeah, surprise, surprise. But this one will only be for display. And uh, last but not least, uh, this is a Bailey that I just made back in, what was that, summer? And it's not really completed. This is just a prototype I just made. But I made a Gaia Stratodragoon F. I don't know what the F would stand for, but maybe Fury or something else. I don't know. But what I just used is a uh, Master or Kid's Dragoon attack ring. It doesn't really matter which one. But I also use the stickers from Kids Dragoon and the blade base is Wyborg so those are the parts I use for this. Alright so that's it for the F's and for Season 1 so now on to V-Force so of course I'm gonna start off with the V's so here is Dragoon V Victory. Once again this is a hybrid between the Hasbro and Takara version because again the attack ring and the bit chip and I think the weight disc are Hasbro but the blade base is Takara and I'm glad that I finally got a better blade base for Dragoon V. Here I have a silver Dragoon V which is pretty cool. Here is Dronzer V, Volcano, Hasbro version. Finally got the Hasbro version because I wasn't really satisfied with my TT Hongi version looking back, but it's still not that bad overall. But I do have the Takara version of Dronzer V now, and this one is using a 3D or holographic uh, bit beast. You can see that there's uh, two images of Dronzer. You can't really see it because of the glare, but yeah, it is pretty cool. Here is Drusil V, Viper, the Takara version finally got this because looking back my TT Hongi version wasn't that great because well some of the parts didn't really fit I know it's fake but it wasn't that bad of a Beyblade like a fake Beyblade but now since I have this one yeah this one's a lot better and speaking of which I still have my TT Hongi version well just the blade base but this one is using a extra Takara Drasil V attack ring so yeah this is pretty much a hybrid between Takara and TT Hongi here is is Drigger V, Vulcan, or Drigger 5, Takara version. Finally got this, except for the uh, bit piece, because like with Drasil S, my Drigger V did not come with the real bit piece, so I had to use my TT Hong version instead. I do have another Takara Drigger V, but it's some bleach, as you can see by the stickers and, well, the attack ring. And last but not least, Gaia Strider Dragoon V vast the Takara version as well and uh, this is actually from my ninth lot and if you remember that the only stickers that were on this were the bit beast this sticker and one of the sub attack ring stickers so luckily I had a spare Gaia Strider Dragoon sticker sheet and I just applied that onto here and yeah it looks really really nice and I do have another Strider Dragoon V and it's once again Takara. So I'll probably just use this one for battle or just for display. I don't know. So that's it for the V's. Now onto the V2's. So here is Dragoon V2. And I have another Dragoon V2, but it's with the magnetic weight disc. And of course, I do have the red version or the movie version of Dragoon V2. Next up is Dronzer V2. And I do have another Dronzer V2. And it's once again Hasbro, but this one is in mid condition pretty much. Okay, next up is Drusil V2. And I still have my TT Hongli version of Drusil V2, but this one's using the Note Bit Beast. And last but not least, Drigger V2, 
And I do have the Takara version of Trigger V2, but again, the stickers are some bleach, which sucks, but I did apply some of the missing stickers from the extra Trigger V2 sticker sheet I had. So I applied uh, this sticker, this sticker, the eye sticker, the support part stickers, and the uh, blade base. So yeah, that is it for the V2s. Now on to the uh, RC versions for the V2s. So here is Dragon V2 RC and Drawnja V2 RC. I still need to rebuy this, but yeah, there is that for V-Force, now on to G-Revolution. So of course, first off is Dragoon G, Galaxy. And I do have another Dragoon G, but this one will be for uh, battles. And of course, I still have my uh, blue Dragoon G, AKA my original one. Here is the engine gear winder for it. And here is the uh, blue version of Dragoon G's uh, winder. Next up is Dronzer G, Gigs, Drasil G, Gravity, Drigger G, Gatling. And I do have another Drigger G, but this is, again, a hybrid between Hasbro and Takara. The blade base is Takara, but the attack ring and the bit chip are Hasbro. Oh yeah, might as well show you the winders since I pretty much forgot to show you them. So here are the winders for Drigger, Dronzer, and whoops, Drasil. Up next is Gaia Strider Dragoon G. Great. The Takara version finally got a better version of this. But again, the only thing that sucks is that the stickers and I think the attack ring is some bleached. But other than that, I'm glad that I finally got the Takara version because with my original TT Hongli version, which yes, I still have by the way, uh, the tip is actually Dragoon G's, Drigger G's, and Dronzo G's. So I don't know why TT Hongli went with that choice, but what do you expect? It's TT Hongli. And by the way, here is the uh, engine gear winder. And last but not least, least the 3d printed Beyblade that I got from Shapeways Hopper or Einstein G I guess the G would stand for genius but yeah I'm glad that I finally got my hands on Kenny's Beyblade from G Revolution as well as uh, season one and as you've noticed yes I did get a better Bippy sticker for this and it was actually provided by the Bay Handlers shout out to him make sure you guys check out his channel I'll probably leave a video link somewhere in the video or in the description but yeah he actually sent me a better image for a uh, hopper than what I printed out before but yeah there is that and that's it for the G's. Now on to the GT's, which I finally completed. So here is Dragoon GT Galaxy Turbo. Finally got this after so many years. Here's of course the uh, Turbo Winder or Engine Gear Spinner for it. And yes, I finally got an Engine Gear Spinner for Dragoon GT. Here is Dronzer GT Gigs Turbo. And here's the Engine Gear Winder or Turbo Winder for Dronzer GT. And I do have another Dronzer GT, again Hasbro, but this one will only be for display, while the other one will just be for battles, of course. Here is my uh, customized Drigger GT, Gatling Turbo. Finally got one with a uh, engine gear tip, so yeah, I can finally use this for uh, battles. And last but not least, I know this isn't really a GT, but I just put it in the GT slot because I kind of consider it as a GT, even though it's not a GT, but here it is, my customized Hopper 2 Beyblade. Yeah, again, the stickers were provided by the Bay handler so shout out to him again but overall I actually liked how this turned out basically what I use is of course a kids seal or even master seal attack ring again doesn't really matter which one and for the blade base I just use the uh, jumping base blade base for this but I know in the anime it's supposed to be a modified engine gear blade base with a spring but I'm not too sure on that maybe it is maybe it's not but I don't know but yeah there's that for the GTs let's move on to the final Beyblades from Revolution the HMS's so of course first off is Dragoon MS Metal Storm Dronzer MS Metal Spiral here is Drusil MS Metal Shield Trigger MS Metal Slash and last but not least Gaia Strata Dragoon MS Metal Spike so that's it for the HMS's now on to season 4 or rising so I'm just gonna take these out for a sec here is Dragoon SWX, Stormwing Extreme. And here's the gold version of Dragoon SWX. Here is uh, two Dronzer SSTs, Spiral Spread Trans. Of course, Takara and uh, Hasbro. Here is Drasil SCP, Shield Central Press. And last but not least, Trigger SHF, Slash Heavy Fusion. Now on to the Fs. So here is Dragoon FGV, Fighter Phantom Gravity Variable. And here is the uh, gold version of Dragoon FGV. And last but not least, Dronzer F YZT, Flame Yell Zeta. Finally know what the YZT stands for. 
just gonna put these two back. Now onto the uh, manga Beyblades, or just the first Beyblades the main character has. So here is Spin or Ultimate Dragoon, black version. Finally got Tyson's first Beyblade in the manga. And I also added to the Blade Breaker's case, Ultimate Frostic Dronzer. Yeah. Because I had it in the uh, other case for a while now. Here is Dragoon Grip Attacker, or just Grip Attacker, Hasbro version. Finally got this. Here is Dronzer Auto Change Balancer, Hasbro version. And Rebuy, finally got this. Check my unboxing if you guys haven't seen it yet. And last but not least, for this case, Dracil Mel Ball Defensor, Hasbro version, and Rebuy. Because this one has a better tip than my original one. Now on to the accessories and just other stuff that I just put in here so here I have no bippies for some of the uh, blade breaker beyblades so here's one for Drigger F these four are for the V's so Dragoon V, Drasil V, Dronzer V and Stradragoon V I still need to make one for Drigger V and the last two for uh, Dronzer V2 and Drigger V2 and now for the other bit chips or bit beasts I have here here I have an extra bit beast or bit chip for Dronzer S this is from the electronic Dronzer S as well as an extra bit chip for Dronzer V from the Takara version here is a soon to be uh, bit beast or bit chip for my customized Drasil GT and the last bit chips I have here here are the uh, character bishops. So, of course, here's Takao or Tyson from V Force. Same thing as Rei. And this one is from the uh, manga. So, we got Takao or Tyson and uh, Daichi as well. You can barely see him, but yeah, he is there. But yeah, it's another uh, holographic bishop. And for the other accessories that I have here, just an extra attack ring for the jumping base trigger. And I have an extra uh, tip for it. So, that's it for the accessories. And that's it for this case. Now, the only blades that I need for this case case are Dragoon MSUV as well as Dragoon MF, Dronzer MF, and the burst versions of Drasil F, Drigger F, Guy Dragoon S, and the burst versions of the V4 Beyblades. But besides that, I pretty much have most of the Blade Breakers Beyblades for this case as I mentioned in my last collection video. So yeah, that is it for the Blade Breakers case and yeah as you have noticed I did put some stickers for this case and they were actually from my old V-Force and G-Revolution cases and also my old Blade Breakers case from like 2013 and 2014. So yeah, there is that. Alright, now for the next case, which is of course the other bladers from the original. And uh, just like with the Blade Breakers case, I did put some of the stickers from my old G Revolution case. So of course, this side is PBB All-Stars, as you can see. And this side is Bartha's Battalion. And of course, Bega. So... Yeah, as always, uh, these are all in chronological order, or just by their first appearance. And it does go by teams this time. Uh, now, the only blades I need for this case, so I'm gonna go by season. So for season one, I only need Shadow or Death Trigger, which is Billy's Beyblade, and Seaborg 1. Yeah, so I only need about two more Beyblades. But I still want to make my own Trihorn, Unicolian, Amphilion, Trigator 1. Yes, it is different than the one we saw in G Revolution, because that's actually Trigator 2. And maybe the Dark Bladers Beyblade, even though that would be kind of hard to replicate. For V-Force, I only need Gabriel or White Gabriel. It honestly doesn't matter which one. It could be the original Magnacore version or the Engine Gear version. And of course, I still want to make my own Vanishing Moot, Shark Rash, Gabriel 2. Yes, it is different from the first one. Uh, Phantom Spider, Wild Fox, Tyranno, Clark Ken, and Sickle Weasel. And for G-Revolution, I only need Trigator 2, Thunder Pegasus, Poseidon or Ocean Wrath G, Venus or Venus Eon G, and Orca, Manta, and Crab Diver. And I still want to make my own Falborg 2, but I'm actually close to making my very own Falborg 2 because I actually have some of the parts that I need for that Beyblade. And for Season 4 or Rising, I only need the Burst version of Woolboard 1. And for the manga, I only need Guardian Drigger. And for Fierce Battle, I only need Dark Dronzer, Dark Drasil, Dark Drigger, and Dark Gaia Strata Dragoon. Yeah, so I think I got all of those out of the way. So let's start off with the first opponents of Season 1. So, of course, we got Kids Dragoon. And I do have two more Kids Dragoons. This one I use for Bay Battles, because this one I just use for display. And this one is kind of the Metal Masters V-Force version. Well, just the Bit Chip and the Bit Beast and the rest of the parts, but the attack ring is just a regular one. So this is pretty much a hybrid between uh, both versions. And last but not least, Knight, Dronzer, Andrew's Beyblade. So that's it for the first opponents. All right, now on to the White Tigers. So first off is, of course, Galleon 1, or Galleon Attacker. 
And I do have the Hasbro version of Galleon 1, so this is Galleon Attacker. And yeah, unfortunately when I got this, part of the attack ring broke, so yeah, there's that. Here is my customized Galax. And I did finish the back of the sub-attack ring. Next up is, of course, Galzy or Galzly. And I do have, finally, the Metal Masters V-Force version, which is pretty much a rebuy, because I did own this back in the day. And last but not least, Galmon, Hasbro version. Finally got a better version of the Hasbro version. And I have two more Galmon Beyblades. Here's, of course, the Metal Masters V-Force one with the remaining stickers I applied from my multiple Metal Masters V-Force Galmons I had. So I'm glad that I pretty much finished the uh, entire attack ring on it. And here's the, uh, recolor of uh, Galmon from my Japan lot which looks really cool in my opinion so there's that and I will go back to this uh, slot once I get to uh, G Revolution but now I'm gonna move on to the all-stars so here is of course Trigo 1 this is the Hasbro version by the way and of course last but not least Tripio here is the Takar version of Tripio and it's completely different from the Hasbro version because it has these and it's shaped differently the stickers are a bit different too like this one it says Tripio Beyblade flying while this one it just says tripio so yeah there's a bit of a comparison for you so that is it for the all-stars now for the majestics so here i have two grifolians one is uh, hasbro and one is takara this one's takara by the way the only difference between the two is that these pieces right here on the hasbro version were originally on the blade base which is a lot better than the hasbro version because why on earth did they do this in the first place i know for the hidden spirit beyblades but why didn't they just leave it on the blade base because it just looks really really weird the takara version on the other hand it's not there so it looks a lot better in my opinion here i have two salamalians or salamulians one is of course the original color and this one is called salamalian 2 which is pretty much a recolor of the first one so now i'm gonna move on to the final team of season one which is of course the demolition boys or team bio vault so first off is Woborg 1, Rebuy. Finally got better stickers for this guy. And they were once again provided by the Bay Handler, so shout out to him again. And yeah, they look a lot better than what I originally printed. But the Blade Base uh, stickers were printed by me. But the bit piece is from my last Beyblade lot that I've gotten, so I decided to use this one instead. But yeah, there's that. And of course, I do have two more Woolborgs. So this one is also Hasbro, by the way. And this one is the uh, Phantom Force version. Now moving on to Woolborg 2. And here is uh, a hybrid between the TT Hongli version and the Takara version. The blade base is Takara and I think the weight disc as well. Yeah, uh, but the attack ring and the bishop is uh, TT Hongli. So there is that. Now here is Seaborg 2, Hasbro version. And this one actually says Beyblade this time. And here I have the Takara version of Seaborg 2. Here is my customized Faborg 1. I know in the anime it was purple and not gray or white, but again, I'm basing off my customization Beyblades off of DL's production, so that's why it's like this and not purple. But maybe one day I will make a purple or anime accurate version of Faborg 1, but I don't know. And of course, last but not least, Yborg. And of course, here's the uh, Hasbro version, which I did fix the uh, changeable tip, but it's still kind of hard to do but i did fix it regardless also this is pretty much a rebuy of my original one that i had back in the day all right now on to the v-force beyblade so of course the first ones are the saint shield so first is flash leopard one hasbro version finally got a better version of this and also it says beyblade on here this time and not only that i also got a better version of flash leopard 2 also hasbro and I do have the Takara version of Flash Leopard 2. And last but not least, Vortex or Voltic Ape Hasbro version. Finally got this. Uh, the only thing that is missing is, of course, the Blade Base. Because when I got this from a lot, which was my 10th lot, it only came with the Attack Ring, the Bit Ship, and the uh, Magna Core Spin Gear. The rest, I had to use from spare parts. But I'm so glad that I finally got this after so many years because I kept ignoring it every time I saw this in uh, stores. Also, I have to note that on the stickers, it says Voltex Ape instead of Vortex. Yeah, that's kind of a fail. I guess they kept the Vol from the Takar version. But yeah, there is that. Now on to Team Psychics, which is probably one of my favorite Beyblades I've ever, uh, 
done, I guess, or have. So here is, of course, Cyber Dragoon. And I finally got a better blade base for this because this one can actually free spin, unlike my original one where you couldn't really free spin the blade base. But yeah, this is once again a hybrid between TT Hongli and Takara. And I do have another Cyber Dragoon here, but this one is the uh, Battle Spec version. Uh, I wasn't really a fan of this version because, well, this one had a sub attack ring and a different blade base, which is actually Gabriel's blade base, believe it or not, but it's just recolored. But looking back, it's not too bad, but I'm still not a fan of it. And it's not as good as the original Cyber Dragoon design-wise. Next up is, of course, my customized Cyber Dronzer. And I redid the uh, blade base and it looks a lot better in my opinion. But yeah, I'm still glad how this turned out. And also, I got a better uh, bit chip for this this time. And here is another uh, revised Beyblade I had done. Well, just the attack ring. So I guess this is my revised Cyber Drasil because the attack ring is more close to it was in the anime than what I had with my original version, which was this one, which I still like, but in all honesty, I think this one is better in my opinion just because it's like I said it's closer to the anime and last but not least Cyber Trigger my customized Cyber Trigger and I am using a different blade base this time which looks a lot better and I am using a different Cyber Trigger attack ring because my original one like my first attack ring I had for Falborg 1 was going to break yeah so I decided to use this one instead and fun fact I actually made this one when I was doing the first one I did I don't know why I didn't use this one in the first place but oh well so there's that for team psychics now on to the final team of v-force which is team sacred and i finally got the beyblades for that team because at the time i only had beyblades from team psychics and saint shields yeah so i'm really glad that i got these beyblades thanks to my beyblade lots so here of course is ariel one king's beyblade finally got this and of course i do have ariel 2 or the hasbro name capricorn strike g and as much as i like the original magnacore version i think the engine gear version is my favorite overall and honestly i think it's better but that's just my opinion all right so a bit of an update so i finally completed all the v-force beyblades aka the ones that were released and i finally got the one that i was missing for the v-force beyblades and that is white gabriel g or gabriel 1 and yeah, this was the Beyblade that I was missing for the V-Force Beyblades and I'm glad that I finally got this after so many years. And since it didn't come with the winder, I'm actually using one of my spare Dragon G winder that I got from one of my lots. And with that, I finally completed all of the V-Force Beyblades. So let's go ahead and get back to the collection. Next is of course Burning Cerberus or Kerberus or Howling Spirits, Zeo's Beyblade. Finally rebought this because my original one, it did not come with the tip. So when I got another Beyblade lot from Japan, it came with the tip. So I'm glad that I got another Burning Cerberus with the tip and last but not least blizzard orthos or orthrus g finally got gordo's beyblade and i have the winder for blizzard orthos so there's that for team zagar now on to g revolution so i'm gonna start off with hero first so here i have two metal triggers one is of course the anime version and one is of course the uh hasbro recolor they're both hasbro by the way uh but i'm glad that i finally got the anime version after so many years and it looks really really nice so that's it for heroes beyblade Blades. Now on to White Tiger X, which I did say that I was gonna go back to this. So here is Galleon 2. And once I get a uh, extra Metal Trigger Blade Base, I am gonna spray paint it black so that this one could finally have a Engine Gear Blade Base. But I need to get another Engine Gear tip. Now on to PPB All Stars. So here is of course Trigal 2G. Finally got the Blade Base for it. But unfortunately, if you guys didn't see my lot, it did not come with a rubber tip because the Blade Base is just a recolored Dragoon. GT uh, blade base, but they just painted it orange instead of, well, white. But I honestly dig the uh, recolored blade base, even though it's uh, Dragoon GTs. But yeah, the only thing I am missing besides the tip is the attack ring because, well, when I got this Beyblade, I only got the bit chip and the bit be sticker. The rest, I did not get. And last but not least, Rock Bison. 
And I do have another Rock Bison here, also Hasbro. I did show this in the previous uh, collection video I did earlier this year. And I finally have the Edugear Winder for Rock Bison, which I did have, I think, as a kid, but I think I accidentally threw it away in the box. I don't know why I did that. I'm glad that I got the Winder for this again. Uh, now, I do have another Rock Bison, but that's Sakara. But I'll probably show that to you later on in the spare parts and other stuff uh, portion. Now on to the Blitzkrieg Boys, or Neoborg. So, here's of course Woolborg 4. Here's the uh, winder for it. And here I have two, yes, two Woolborg MS's, Metal Survive. Of course, one is Takara, which is this one. And this one is uh, Hasbro. And here's the little tool for Woolborg MS. There's that. Now on to Bartha's Battalion or Bartha's Soldiers, which I finally completed after so many years. So. Here's, of course, Dark Effigy, or Dark Gargoyle, or Death Gargoyle, and I finally got a better engine gear tip for this, because my original one, I honestly do not know what happened to the tip, but all I remember is that this broke off while I was playing outside with my cousins, so it might be somewhere outside my house, or it's just gone forever, I don't know. And here's, of course, the engine gear winder. Next is, finally, Rapid Eagle, or Killer Eagle, uh, Hasbro version. The only thing, again, I am missing is the blade base and the proper color for the bitchet because I only got the attack ring from my 10th lot just like with vortex ape and a bunch of others so sadly I only have the attack ring for this again I did have to print out some stickers from the bay handler so shout out to him again I got the remaining stickers for the attack ring uh, the sticker for the beak the bit piece of course these two stickers so thanks again to the bay handler next is of course Russian boar Finally has the uh, blue eyes from my extra Russian Boar attack ring I had. And last but not least, I guess my revised attack ring of Pierce Hedgehog. Because this one is actually spray painted this time. Because my original one, I just put paint over it like washable paint. Which didn't really look good. So I decided to redo it again. Which looks slightly better in my opinion. But hopefully when I do get my hands on the real attack ring. Which will be 3D printed by the way. And will probably have the same treatment as this. But uh, yeah, there is that. Now on to F Dynasty, or I think it's called F Sanger in the Japanese version. And it's the only one I have, sadly, because the other one is super rare. But here is Flame or Torch Pegasus. A really, really unique Beyblade in my opinion. Now on to the Bega Bladers. So here's, of course, Zeus, one of my favorite Beyblades of all time. And here is the uh, Engine Gear Winder for it. And my newest edition, Apollon, or Apollon G, Hasbro version, finally got Garland's Beyblade. And yes, I did get another Blade Base because this one had the complete stickers, unlike my original one, which didn't have the Blade Base stickers, sadly. But yeah, I'm glad that I finally got my hands on this. And last but not least, Gigars. It's a car version, of course. And here is the winder for Gigars. And... I do have two more Gigars here, just gonna put these back, and they are both Hasbro. This one is my original one, of course, this one is pretty much a rebuy of that, and I did put back the tip for this, and here's my original winder for it. So that's it for that. Now on to Beyblade the Movie Fierce Battle, and I finally got one of the Beyblades from there, besides the red version of uh, Dragon VT, but I finally got Dark Dragoon, yeah, Henry's Beyblade. But yeah, I finally got another Dark Dragoon that has all the stickers, so of course these stickers uh these stickers and the eyes as well so i'm glad that i finally got one that has all the stickers for it now on to the manga so here is the only manga Beyblade to have besides well strategy dragoon s and that is spike lizard yeah i finally got one of the Beyblades from the manga and this Beyblade looks really really unique like the little rollers here the green weight disc just everything about this Beyblade looks really really nice glad that i finally have it. Now on to the last couple Beyblades here, which is the HMSs. Well, the other HMSs. Here is Wyvern DJ and finally Phantom Fox. Finally got this. This is Hasbro, by the way. But unfortunately, when I got this, the faceplate or bit plate is uh, Spark or Thunder Dragons or Serpents. So yeah, that sucks. Also, it didn't come with the other running core or blade base. But I'll probably get another one soon. And last but not least, Machow, or the yellow version of Advanced Striker from the Beyblades 3 Kingdom toy line, which I am going to get more Beyblades from that toy line. All right, so now on to the uh, accessories or other parts I have. 
So here's the extra attack ring and a note bippies for Flash Leopard 1. Here's some other note bippies that I made a couple years ago. So this is Galzies, Cyber Dragoons, Flash Leopard 2, and Wilborg 1. Here I have an extra engine gear that I'll be using for Trigal 2. And uh, just a red blade base that I'll be using for Dark Effigy. If I'm ever going to be using Baybals that has just this play base rather than the engine gear one. And the other two I just put on the side, which I already showed, is the old Savage Seal attack ring and the broken Dark Effigy uh, engine gear. So that's it for the spare parts I have for this case. And that's it for this case. Cause now I'm gonna move on to the last case for the plastic Beyblades. And yeah, this is pretty much the other Beyblades that were not in the anime. Well, the ones that weren't owned by the other teams. So I guess I'll start off with the uh, ones in the slot first. So here is Roller Attacker. Here is uh, customized Black Bakushino. And yeah, I finally have one that has the proper Bippies for it. And yes, this is the Bippies for Bakushino. Uh, but I still need to rebuy this regardless. Here is Bistool. Finally got one with a better blade base and here i have two master Dronzers. one is of course hasbro one is of course takara this is Takara, by the way i do have an extra attack ring for master Dronzer, but this one will only be for battles and here i have two metal Draceals. one is tt Hongli, and one is uh, hasbro of course this is the metal masters b-force version but the blade base is actually i think hasbro yeah it's hasbro because it has the uh, bba logo here is the metal masters v-force version of master Drigger. and last but not least for this slot, the black version of World War 3 or Ariel. I know I probably should have put this in the other Beyblades from the original case, but this wasn't in the anime, it's just an exclusive. I decided to just put it in this uh, case for now. Now at the bottom, here is Spark Knight finally have this. Here I have two metal Dronzers. One is of course Sakaar and one is TT Hongli. And this one actually says Beyblade on it instead of Tornado. Oh yeah, also this one is uh, Sunbleached like the others. And here I have a no Bit Beast for Metal Dronzer. Next is a fake Galleon 1 with a fake Dronzer S Blade Base. And the stickers say Metal or Master Seal on it for some bizarre reason. Next is Zenrai. Uh, this one is my original one by the way. But I finally got one with some stickers and with the actual Bit Beast. I do believe this is the Bit Beast for Zenrai. Here I have two Bound Attackers. Both Hasbro. This one just has all the stickers. This one just has the Bit Beast. I also have two Makendos or Makendos. Both Hasbro. But this one just has most of the complete stickers and last but not least I have a fake master Jaseel and that's it for the ones that are in the little slots now for the Beyblades that are in this little uh, pile so here is a recolored master Jaseel and I do have the proper color of master Jaseel this is pretty much a rebuy of my original one here I have Hayate yeah I have another hidden spirits Beyblade that I got from a Japanese lot and this one actually came with the figure yeah I'm not gonna take it out because it's Kind of complicated to assemble and put back but this is what the face looks like uh pretty much what this is or what it looks like it's pretty much a combination between beyblades and zoids yeah i'm not even joking just like the figure like itself looks like a zoid or something from zoids here i have two bump kings or pump kings both hasbro uh, but one actually has the actual Bump King Bit Beast. This one just has the low Shogun Bit Beast. And I have two Wing Attackers, both Hasbro. I also have two Master Dragoons. One is actually Hasbro, one is Takara. This is actually Takara, this is actually Hasbro, except for the Attack Ring. Because this one actually has the real Master Dragoon Bit Beast. While my original one, it didn't have it. It was actually the Ice Dragoon Bit Beast. Here is uh, Kids Dracile. And last but not least, this is just a combo that I just made, but it's basically just a fake Drigger S Beyblade. So now to show you guys the fake Beyblades along with the Dollar Store Beyblades. So I'm going to start off with uh, these three first. So I have a fake Strata Dragoon V, a fake Seaborg 2, and a fake Drasil V. Now for the Dollar Store Beyblades, I'm going to show off the old ones first, or the old school. So I have the Bird or Seagull, the Witch, and I'm assuming a Griffin based on the launcher I have for this. And yeah, I finally put this with the other Beyblades now in this case. And last but not least, the newer Dollar Store Beyblades, which are these four right here. But yeah, that's about it for those. So I'm going to put back all the Beyblades back in this case. So just give me a sec. So that's it for those. And I forgot to show you. Here's the Metal Blade Base. 
that I got from one of my TT Hongi Beyblades. But yeah, that is it for the plastic Beyblades. Now on to the electronic Beyblades, which is this case right here. And yes, I did take out the Infinity Nanos and Burn Fireblaze before making this video. So I have a electronic Dragoon G, two Drondra Gs, a blue electronic Dragoon S, along with a black and yellow Dragoon F, a electronic Drondra S, and for the fake electronic Beyblades, I have four TT Hongli electronic Beyblades, which are, of course, uh, two Dragoons and two Driggers, one being S and F. And this one which I'm not sure if this is either Dollar Store or TT Hongli. And this one right here, which is a metal and plastic uh, big Beyblade. So that's it for those. So now I'm going to show you off the uh, launchers, the stadiums, and a bunch of the others. Okay, so I'm going to show you off the launchers first, as I mentioned, since I always do it pretty much every Beyblade collection update for the original. So might as well show you off this one first. So of course I have the uh, Beyblade plug and play launcher. Yes, plug and play, not arcade i don't know why i called it an arcade in the first place because i didn't know what else to call this so i just called it an arcade wait i got some other launchers here that i don't really use anymore because well i have this is pretty much my main launchers that i use for the original and some for burst and yeah these are just like extra launchers and grips i have and here are my beyblade gloves and for the uh, second bucket like i said it's pretty much launchers that i mainly use for the original beyblade and of course the last couple of launchers here are just some other launchers i couldn't fit into this or here so i'll probably have to get another box or case for those but yeah here i have another sniper grip but this one is the takar version because well this one actually has an on off switch unlike the hasbro version just to show you a little comparison between the two and yeah not much of a difference just that this one has an on off switch and this one the battery compartment can actually slide off on like the Hasbro version where you have to unscrew it which sucks yeah I also have of course the original double launcher and uh, this one which is actually a big chip launcher where you store of course bit chips and it's not really a great launcher but it is a nice one to have in your collection and yeah unfortunately one of the little launcher holder things broke so I will have to replace this eventually and last but not least for the newer launchers I have I have the automatic launcher from the original uh to car version of course and I'm not sure if they release this for Hasbro but I actually first saw this in the 2004 Beyblade tournament on the Fierce Battle DVD. And yeah, I always wanted it as a kid and now I finally got it. And yeah, as you can see here, there's like some super glue on this because the little trigger thing here broke and this piece right here broke. So yeah, it looks okay now. I might get another one, but yeah, I'm glad that I finally have the original automatic launcher. And of course I have the uh, Dragoon RC launcher. I also have some other launchers like this one, which came with the uh, spring support shooter, which did not come with it, unfortunately. So I just have the grip as well as uh, this one. It's supposed to have the little um, grip thing, but again, I didn't have it. So I only just have this and got some other launches here like left spin right spin oh i also made this it's pretty much a modified string launcher that has the original launcher holder things and yeah the rest are just a bunch of other launchers and rip cords and whatnot all right so next up are the stadiums and i did get some new stadiums for the original so of course the first stadium i'm going to show you off is the first stadium that i have here which is my original base stadium i had since i was about five years old or maybe six and yeah i'm glad that i had this for pretty much over 15 years now and it's still in pretty decent condition even though i kind of screwed it up back in 2013 because you know i cut both of these sides to make kind of a bb 10 s stadium i don't know why i did that but at least i put this back together the way it was even though it's not that perfect speaking of a bb 10 here i have the green tornado attack base stadium and here is finally the bb 10 base stadium that i got from my last beyblade lot so yeah this is pretty much the stadium that I'll be mostly using now for my bay battles. Besides, of course, this one and a bunch of the others. So yeah, moving on to my second base stadium. So here is the Dracaea Fortress Stadium. And I do have another Dracaea Fortress Stadium, but this one's actually in a different color than my first one. And it looks really, really cool. I also got another stadium from the original, and that is this. Yeah, the Dragoon Storm Stadium, which looks really, really nice. And of course, I have the uh, portable Beyblade V4 Stadium, and beside it is the Infinity NATO Stadium, and of course, the Satellite Dish. Yeah, so those are all the stadiums I have that are related to the original. So now moving on to, I guess, the boxes. So here are all the original or plastic Beyblade boxes I have, but like with the previous collection update for the original, I won't show you all the boxes, but I will show you off the new ones. So before I get to those, of course, I might as well just 
show you the boxes that are on the top. So, of course, Wyborgs, Drasil Fs, and the uh, Burst versions of Dragoon. And I finally have the Dakar version uh, box of Flash Leopard 2. Yeah, just to do a little comparison between the uh, TT Hongli version. Yeah, big difference. I know it's fake and all, but I just like comparing both the legit box and the fake one. Just like, look at Ozuma's hair compared to this one. Like, <laughs> why did they go with this choice? But at least his clothes are you know, still the same. Just to show you the other boxes I have here, so here I have another TT Hongli Beyblade, but it is a TT Hongli Dragoon GT. Yeah, I actually bought two of these off of eBay and I got them for a pretty decent price actually. I actually bought one that was just for spare parts and the sticker sheet and for the winder because that was the only thing I was missing. And this one will only be for collection purposes just because, well, Probably before getting the Hasbro version of Dragoon GT, I always wanted like a TT Hongli version or another version of Dragoon GT if I couldn't get my hands on one back in the day. I'm glad that I got both the Hasbro version and this one. So I guess you can say that I have three Dragoon GTs. And the second unopened Beyblade I have here is the Hasbro version of Zeus. Yeah, surprise, surprise, I actually have a second Zeus, but it's unopened, like I mentioned. Yeah, I'm glad that I got this and won this from a bid on ebay and of course i got some other stuff here like the v4 accessories and of course i have the uh beyblade 3 kingdoms box make sure you check my boxing on that i also have an extra dragoon ms case and of course the extra woborg 1 abv layer that i got from japan woborg ms box and last but not least Dronzer auto change balancers box make sure you guys check my unboxing that as well like i said i won't show you all of them but if you guys want to see most of the boxes i have in this container just watch my previous collection updates for the original and of course I have some of the uh, Beyblade checklists like this one's for season one and G Revolution. I actually have all of these now and this one which came with the uh, Flash Leopard 2 uh, box. Here's some of the other boxes I have on my shelf like of course the 3H messes plus the uh, Dragoon MS case, uh, Dronzer Assets T's box and beside it is the other Dragoon GT TT Hongli box and behind the Dronzer Assets T box are the other end gear boxes like Dronzer G's, Trigger G's and Gaia Strider Dragoon G's and the other boxes here are the uh, Dronzer GT box, Drusil G and uh, behind the Drusil G box is the Dragoon G box. And for last, some of the other boxes I have on my wall. So I have this that I got from San Francisco, uh, that box over there. And then this one I got from Chinatown, the same place where I got the uh, TT Hongli Beyblades. Not those ones, but the V Force ones. Speaking of which, here I have pretty much all of the uh, season one TT Hongli Beyblade boxes that are in like this style of packaging. And then this one, which is the uh, TO Flash Lucky 2 box. And then below it are just the Beyblade keychain and then this one which came with my first kids dragoon and then the uh, wyvern dj box here's some of the other stuff that i have here which are just boxes spare parts and old uh, carry-ons and whatnot so this is where i keep most of the spare parts and well some of my old ebay packages like i have a lot from like ooh, like 2013 to like 2017 or 18 and of course i have some extra rip cords from my lots. This is of course where I keep the uh, extra bit chips. So of course, if you guys haven't seen my previous collection videos, uh, pretty much I keep the Istronzer Bippies here, uh, the bit chips that are like this, that have the little face plates over it. And then my original bit chips I had when I was a kid until like probably 2017 or 16. And then since this got full, I had to put some of the newer ones here. And then of course, I have bit chips that have like no bippy stickers or that are just like kind of broken. And then I have some extra bippy stickers. And then I also have bit chips with no bippies. I also have some extra bippy stickers. Uh, mostly they're printed. And I also have some like paper things that I cut out back in the day. Uh, the Beyblade pins that I got from Orfest, Kai and Ray. I have some of the magnetic weight disc here and some extra sticker sheets. And of course, the Beyblade keychains. I have two of the uh, launchers right here. So this one is the first one that I got. Well, not really the very first one, but it's technically the second one. It's a uh, Jigger S. But I did find my very first Beyblade keychain, which is Drawn's S. And yeah, unfortunately, the little wing here broke back in the day and also I lost some of the stickers on the attack ring. I'm glad that I finally found this because I was looking all over for this because I knew I had a Bailey keychain but I don't remember if it was like Dragoon or Dronzer or whatever so yeah now I remember it's Dronzer and of course I have a second Dragoon keychain and here's 
draggy mess. And I also have the Beyblade magnet. In this case, is just pretty much other stuff like the Spinning Spirits and the Burger King Beyblades like Dragoon, Galax, and Dronzer. I also have the Beyblade Yo-Yo and the little launcher for the Burger King Beyblades. Here's the Spinning Spirits trigger and this is Dragoons. I might be wrong, but I don't know. And of course, the figures that came with the Burger King Beyblades. So I got Mariah and Kai. I still need the uh, Tyson and Ray figures. And below it are just some of the spare parts that are from my old Beyblades, like broken Beyblades or just spare parts or just whatever. And of course, in the SpongeBob uh, bucket are just extra launchers, records, and tools, mainly from MSP and some of the fake or bootleg Beyblades like this, for instance. And yeah, some of these are like either broken or just whatever. Here's my old Beyblade uh, tool chest thing or carry-on. And here is my older Beyblade carry-on. Of course, it is a lunch bag. Same with this, but this is my sister's. Now, I did mention earlier that I have duplicate Beyblades from the original, but as I mentioned, I did put them away in storage because there's really no point of having three or more Beyblades in the same case. So I did put them in a separate case. So here in my old Blade Breakers uh, case, I have a duplicate Strider Dragoon S, which will be for battles. And also I have like two Dragoon S's, one Dronzer S, and of course my original Dronzer Auto Change Bouncer. Drasil S, Dragoon F, two Dronzer F's, two Drasil F's, one Dragger F, might as well put this back. Uh, two Dragoon V's, one is the original color and one is the silver version without the tip. Dronzer V, and then some parts for Drasil V, Drigger V, Guys Strider Dragoon V, Dragoon V2, and Dronzer V2. And if you guys didn't see my Japan lot, which was I think my ninth lot, yeah, look at these Beyblades and look at the stickers. They're like completely sun bleached. And just to show you another sun bleached, uh, V2 Beyblade. Yeah, I think this one looks worse in my opinion. But in other words, the tip is actually in pretty good condition despite, you know, the Beyblade being sun bleached as well as the stickers. But it honestly looks pretty cool in my opinion. And I also have a magnetic weight disc and I also have a Jigger G attack ring and a bunch of uh, spare parts I have laying around. And beside it, I have a second uh, spare parts box and yes i did get this from one of my lots i got a couple of months back and yeah it's really cool it says bba bay toolbox dx and of course has the bakuten shu beiwei logo and the bba logo and yeah it's a really really cool carry-on case and yeah basically what i have here is just like my extra weight disc which i'm really glad that i got a lot of weight disc thanks to my lots my 2014 through 2017 self would be very happy right now as well as 2013. i also have some limited edition stickers like a limited edition sticker sheet for dragon g which is pretty cool and i also have this sticker sheet which has already been applied but the stickers were dragoon dronzer uh grifolian and salamalian the other stickers here are takao or tyson dragoon dronzer f and dragoon f and the symbol for dragoon and beside it are of course extra attack rings like for aerial one galleon one an extra cyber trigger attack ring as well as Fowlborg one galax and some finger grips i have here which came from my locks like dronzer and dragoon I have an extra Dragoon finger grip. And yeah, here are some of the uh, bit chips that were from the sticker sheet that's under here. So yeah, of course, Salamalian or Salamulian. There's Dronzer over there and some other uh, bit chips like this, which is very weird. Uh, the little chibi Frankenstein bit beast. Uh, this, which is like kind of a nine-tailed fox dinosaur hybrid. This one right here. And this one, which is actually from Digimon. I don't remember what the name of this Digimon is, but it's actually pretty cool how Digimon and uh, Bailey kind of cross over. It is pretty cool. Beside it are just some extra Blade bases like for Blizzard Orthos, Savage Trigger, Galax, Apollon Gs, Woborg 2s, and some others. Of course, I have the limited edition weight disc like this and uh the purple weight disc from the metal masters galmon this weight disc which is pretty cool and then this one which is kind of a red version of that the one i just showed you and this one is pretty much the weight disc that galleon 2 uses but it's not blue it's of course like this color gray or silver and under this little uh tray are the other duplicate beyblades i have so i have 
My original kid's Dragoon. I have like three Galmons, Grifolian, Galzy or Galzly, Wyborg, Seaborg T, Tripio, uh, Burning Kerberos, Rock Bison. Yeah, that's the Takara one that I mentioned earlier. Uh, another Flash Leopard 2, and Kids Draceal, uh, Wing Attacker. I have like another one, but it's in storage. Uh, Dark Dragoon, which is right there but has some of the stickers and a bunch of others. Now to show off the last few things for the original or that are related to the original. So here I have for the video games, I have Beyblade V-Force Super Tournament Battle for GameCube. And I also put this inside. It's the uh, Beyblade Summer 2003 Weird on Wheels Rip Zone. And for the other Beyblade video games I have for the original, I have Beyblade V-Force Ultimate Blader Jam for Game Boy Advance and G-Revolution. Now to show off the manga. So of course I have Beyblade Volume 3 6 to 8, 10, 11, 12, and 14. And I'm still planning on importing uh, Beyblade Rising from Japan, so hopefully I can add that to my Beyblade manga collection. And of course, above it, I have the Beyblade card, so here's Season 1's cards and V-Force. And I also have some packs underneath. And I also have the pictures from YTV WoW 2004 from my very first Beyblade tournament. And of course my Beyblade was Wyborg. And I also have the Beyblade official handbook. Now for the Blu-rays, DVDs, and VHSs. So here I got these back in summer. So I have all three seasons, yes, all three seasons of the original Beyblade on Blu-ray. So of course I have season one or Bakuten Shoot. V Force or Bakhtun Shu 2002 and G Revolution. I'm really happy and glad that I finally got my hands on these. And also, I'm glad that they finally released these on Blu ray after so many years. And above it, I have Beyblade G Revolution Volume 1, beginning of the end. And of course, I have these three VHSs that I recorded Beyblade episodes off of YTV back in the day. Now for the posters. So, of course, I have the Kai and Dronzer poster that I got from Odafest. And I also have the uh, four original Bit Beast poster above it. And of course, I have this beast the uh, Blade Breakers poster that came with the Panini uh, sticker book. All right, now to show off my Beyblade shirts and some of the other stuff that I have. So of course, I have the Kai and Dronzer shirt and beside it is the Lee and Galleon shirt. And here's the uh, Beyblade sticker uh, book. And beside it, I actually found this back in summer and I completely forgot that I have this. And it's kind of this like fabric-like Beyblade poster that I had when I was a kid. And I think it came with the four Bit Beast poster that I got, which is on my wall. And behind it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Me and my sister did these drawings when we were kids. It says the Beybladers and yes, we spelled Beyblade wrong. Don't judge us. We were only kids from Beyblade. And yeah, that's supposed to be Kai and that's supposed to be Dronzer. That's supposed to be Tyson and yeah, we spelled his name wrong because we didn't even know how to spell his name. And that's supposed to be Max. That's supposed to be Mariah. And yes, we spelled her name wrong. We thought it was Rihanna or Rihanna. And yeah, that's supposed to be Ray. They're supposed to be holding hands or whatever's going on there. And that is supposed to be Kenny and Dizzy right there. Yeah, <laughs> this is a really weird drawing that me and my sister did back in the day. And here's some of the other uh, Beyblade DVDs I have here. So I have Battle Series Volume 1, 2, and 4 for Season 1. I'm only missing three and yeah like i said they never released more of these so it's only four volumes which sucks and then i have the re-released uh dvds which is the pronier uh versions and i also have the uh, g revolution dvds that were released by funimation these were good as well but i really wish they released more of these probably funimation lost the rights to release any more g revolution episodes because they only stopped before the world championship battle so yeah they only released volume one through volume ten and also have this bootleg uh, Beyblade DVD that I got from Chinatown, aka, you know, the place where I get my TC Hongi Beyblades. But yeah, since I don't have a Chinese DVD player or a DVD player that can play these types of discs, it's kind of pointless to have this. But at the same time, it's not because, well, it's for collection purposes. And of course, the last few things I have here are the uh, Beyblade VHSs from Season 1. So the Qualifier and Battle in the Sky. But yeah, those are the things that I have to show you for this collection update for the original Beyblade. But yeah, guys, that's about it for this collection video for the original. Now, of course, the next one will be MFB or for Burst. Yeah, the very first Beyblade collection update 
or burst. But that'll be next year along with MFB and probably in the next couple of years or so. I'll do another collection video for all of the Beyblades, but hopefully this time it won't be an hour long again. But I don't know. I'll see. And regarding to Beybow requests, I might consider doing them again, but only for the original Beyblades. No MFB, no burst, just the plastic Beyblades. And just to know, I don't do combos because honestly, I'm not a fan of combos. Unless if they're really good combos. But for now, I'm only doing it with the proper parts, aka the ones that came with the Beyblade. So again, if you guys want to do battle requests, leave a comment down below and I'll eventually get around to do it sometime next year. But anyways, guys, that's about it for this video. Make sure you guys check out my previous Beyblade collection video I did and my previous Beyblade collection update for the original. And make sure to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Twitch. Link will be in the description below. And make sure to hit that notification bell so you will never miss an upload. And make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and like always, I'm out. Peace.